Hey guys, so recently I happened to buy the Boat Aventi 1200 soundbar that I got it only for about 4300 rupees in the recent Republic Day sale and under 5000 rupees currently in the market. The most popular and a default choice has to be the Mi soundbar, but that does not come with a subwoofer. So that is the only reason why I got this over the Mi soundbar. So looking at the packaging, I'm really impressed with the packing. It's very well padded and protected. It's quite big and guys, I'm working to renovate the setup a bit. And uh, currently it's a bit mess, so don't really mind it. But anyway, in the box you are getting the remote with cells included along with paperwork and the wall mount stuff. Looking at the subwoofer, it's about 34 inches I believe. And there's a boat branding on the front and there's only one black color available on the left you have nothing and on the right you have the power bluetooth and the volume buttons on the back you have the usb aux ports and audio out for the subwoofer this is where you connect your subwoofer the bad thing is there's no hdmi out but the good thing is that the power is directly given to the sound bar and not the subwoofer which means you can actually use the sound bar stand alone with or without the subwoofer but without subwoofer it didn't really sound all that good looking at the subwoofer it's fairly big and size does matter here in terms of sound it has the bass reflex or air vent and you can actually see the inside through this on the right you have the speaker mesh and of course you gotta be careful not to tear this so beware of the rats on the back you have the port attached to connect to the soundbar I really like this texture running along the front of the subwoofer so overall build quality wise I have no complaints. You have a lot of options on the remote using which you can equalize and basically customize the sound output as per your liking. So you basically have two connection types one is the bluetooth and the other is the aux. I did test out the bluetooth range and I would say it is pretty standard I did not see any sort of connection drops even when I was moving into the other room. It was pretty stable so it is uh, good in terms of Bluetooth range and pretty standard I would say. Playing sound through the aux output I would say the volume was a little bit less maybe about 10 to 20 percent but not by much but still it was pretty loud enough. So guys let's do some audio test. So I connected my mic to the laptop and it's recording and also it is recorded on my default DSLR camera mic as well. I put the input gain on this mic only at 40% so the volume level that you hear will be lower compared to what I actually get here in reality so keep that in mind so I will also play another version that is recorded in my DSLR camera as well but this is just to give you an idea guys so just hear it and let me know how it sounds. Guys now make sure that you reduce your volume because I am going to play another version from my DSLR camera and guys the volume will be higher so make sure you reduce your volume.
Here's another track with some good bass drop for all the bass lovers. <laughs> So what do I think about the sound? I really like the vocals and the treble, especially I find the treble really crisp and it really stands out. The vocals also sound really clear even when I was watching news or movies. The dialogue quality was pretty good as well even with default settings although there are various options like news, music etc which may make it actually a little bit better. Also there is good amount of bass and the bass feels pretty punchy and clean as well which is very important. However, I would have liked the bass to be slightly a bit more cleaner and tighter I would say. The bass feels clean to the most part, don't get me wrong, but at higher volumes on some tracks, it feels like the bass lingers around too much, creating quite a bit of a, that reverb effect. For example, when I played Katy Perry's Roar song, I could actually feel this a little bit even more. I mean don't get me wrong guys, the bass is very good and it is definitely not like those low-end cheap speakers with boomy bass which completely lack the clarity. Like some of the old creative speaker models, the bass is fairly clean to the most part and I personally enjoyed the overall experience. So after using this for about 5-6 days both with Bluetooth connection and connected to my TV via Oxport, I would say I am absolutely satisfied with the overall experience so if you are a bass lover and looking for a sound bar under 5000 rupees i would say this is one of the best choices available right now and uh, the mi sound bar is also very good but if you don't care much about the bass you can also consider the mi sound bar when i personally checked it out i found that it was sounding pretty good as well but you will not obviously get this level of bass and one last thing i would like to mention here is that guys the soundbar does not block the view of the TV as you can see here, at least on my TV it does not because uh, maybe it has a little bit of uh, bigger bezels but it does not block the view as you can see. So that's been it guys, please like this video, also subscribe and if you have any questions please feel free to comment down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.